Okay, hello everybody, and welcome back to Mass Effect 2, where my dog might interrupt us at some point. He's whining at the door. But we are gonna go get some upgrades. And then we are going to talk to Jack. Oh, I could do, no, I don't, I wanna do armor. Nope, armor. Damage protection. Squad bonus plus 20% to shields, barriers, and armor. Dog, I can hear you. Redundant field generator. Give it to me. Uh, when the shields go down, they are instantly fully restored. Only sometimes. Nice. Uh, so, have improved, but attempts to reinforce failing shields of back at the traditionally failed to do inference. And a prototype of the generator has been created with proper investment. This can be miniaturized for personal use. Oh, there's a hard shields upgrade too. Did you see that? Requires one more damage protection. Uh, scientists are clean, but it seems gas shields are not vulnerable to incoming projectiles. A breakthrough is imminent, however, it's possible to make a modified mass effect field generator that mimics this technology. Where's more damage protection? Maybe that's something I can only find in the field. Uh. Fine. And then. Should we do sniper rifle or. Oh, assault rifle's good. I have plenty of that. Shotgun damage or sniper rifle. We did shotgun, so let's do sniper rifle. Gonna have to... Uh... Um... Pretty sure that I like... I'm pretty sure I always use the, uh, the missile tracking one. Wait, what? Oh. I need a heavy skin weave. Oh, and I just need more platinum to give him that. Maybe we should go mining a little bit. Uh, SMG shield piercing. So I need to just probably keep an eye on damage. This just needs more platinum. Okay. All right, cool, cool. All right, I will go talk to Jack first since she's just this kind of this crazy person who's in my basement. Oh! Well, let me go talk to Jack first. I don't usually bring Jack out. Maybe I should. This time, just kind of switch it up. It'd be really, there's a certain squad makeup that I'd be interested to bring out, but it's not for frontal assault, really. It's more of a stealth squad. Um, so, we got all our crazies down in the basement. I just realized that. We got our... Crazy Blood Rage Krogan over there. Perfect specimen. And we've got these two. Haha. <laughs> I hear that Rupert is actually cooking some good meals lately. Yeah, right. That scunner couldn't serve a good haggis if his life depended <laughs> on it. But all haggis tastes like ass anyway. Aye, but in the right hands, it can taste like mighty fine ass. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. I think it sounds like hummus to me, and I'm sure it's not. I've heard it, but I don't know what. I've heard of it, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it looks like. But if even the local doesn't think it tastes like bad, then this is a certain kind of bad it can taste like, right? Alright. This is basically this area is made for Jack. There's no other reason for it to be here. Hey. Hi. Tell me about you, Jack. I'm still finding out about me. Thanks for letting me look at these files. If they're helping you, that's good enough for me. Don't be my buddy. Ah, oh, dang you need it. me to kill for you, I need you for these files. Let's leave it there. Your friends at Cerberus are into some nasty things. 
I'm gonna find something I can use. I just know it. Yeah, with Jack, it's generally better to go the middle route, I think, or even the... The... She's kind of like... A, when I deal with Krogan, I generally go the renegade route because they respond better to aggression. And in the beginning, Jack respects that better. And I will always, always, always think this angle is super weird. I'm, like, used to it now, but I have no idea why this is the chosen angle. I... I Except for the fact that there's a tattooed boob in my face. And it just seems... Like, even when I talk to Miranda, I don't have to deal with this. You know what I mean? Like... And it's, like, all fuzzy. Like, everything's, like, it's all, like, you know, it's out of focus. And it's just really weird. What if the answers aren't what you expect? I'm not looking for answers. I'm looking for names, dates, places. What happens when you find what you're looking for? I go hunting. Anyone who's screwed with me pays. Their associates pay. Their friends pay. The galaxy's gonna be a lot emptier when I'm done. Yeah. What's your history with Cerberus? They raised me in a research facility. I escaped when I was a kid. Been I'm surprised that the, and they've been the elusive man didn't since. tell me this. But soon, I'm gonna chase them. You think about this a lot, don't you? I go to sleep with this. I wake up with it. Dog. Everyone I kill, I pretend it's the ones that did this to me. You don't have to live in this pit, you know. It's dark, quiet, and hard to find. That spells safety to me. It's true. It's probably a comfy spot to be. You know, this ship is a powerhouse. You could go pirate. Live like a queen. I could help. Uh, I think I did this before. We have to stop the collectors. I don't have time for piracy. When this is done, we'll either be dead or out here in space with this ship. And it's not Alliance. I'm not Alliance. I don't know what I am anymore. Think about it. Lots of creds. Freedom to go wherever you want. And all the mayhem and fighting I could want. She actually does enjoy it. What is it about killing that fascinates you so much? I figure every time someone dies and it's not me, my chances of survival go up. Simple. I like that. Like I, it didn't. It's like when I first heard her say that, I was like, "Oh, that makes sense." Like, you know, every time I kill someone, it's one more person that I lived past. You know what I mean? Like I lived longer than that. And like for somebody like her, for which you know, survival is like everything. That would be a thrill. I should go. Yep. Okay. Can I not? Okay, I was gonna talk to you about the other things. Okay, like the upgrades and stuff. Hey, I picked up a lot of resources. Can you use them to help against the collectors? That that shot is weird to too. Five X implants. Still got them in my head. You want to know what I need? Not usually my thing, but I've learned how to get things done on my own. How to how to make biotic implants or how to put them in your brain? Subject zero. Jack gets twenty percent biotic damage. Uh, they spinal shines to a progressive neural degeneration, which would normally decrease or potential ability to generate mass effect fields. Instead, her ability appears to be increasing. Replacing the power module in her biome with a higher capacity prototype module would dramatically increase the strength of Jack's biotic. Well, what do you mean she's got pro progressive neural degeneration? Like, is she gonna, like, is it gonna turn into, like, a muscular thing? Like, she's gonna lose control of her body? Or is this just, like, you know, a psychological thing? Yeah, we'll research that. I basically don't need to get, uh... Hey. Don't need to get Ezo for a long time. A resources. Because I have a lot Can from the beginning and you don't need it for a lot of things. I figured out those L5Xs. Consider yourself lucky. It's not like I keep a library of this shit around. Yeah. I... She's... She's kind of... Miranda? Or not Miranda. I'm, I saw Miranda right there. Jack is hard to get along with. And it's hard to kind of figure out where to go with her that doesn't make you seem like a completely different person when you're talking to her. You know what I mean? But I respect what she's gone through, but I'm surprised people didn't make a big deal out of Jack being sexualized because I don't think she is so much, but people were always like, oh, the butt shots of Miranda. And I'm like, what about the boob shots of Jack? Like, actual boob. Because she just has a belt on, basically, on her chest. And they kind of explained that, I think, in the art book. They were saying something about how they were, uh, the tattoos are, ba the, the, they wanted the tattoos to be very prominent, because they tell you her story, basically. It's, it's her way of covering up her scars. 
um, because I'm pretty sure that the red line down her arm right there and like across it, I'm pretty sure that that's not a tattoo. I'm pretty sure that's a scar. Um, I could be wrong, but you don't, oh, you can see a scar on her back. Yeah, the, the, the funny thing is the tattoos are supposed to cover the scars, but they think they also wanted to make sure you could see the scars. So the, the scar, the, the scars actually go across the tattoos. So, but it's her way of telling, of telling her own story and covering, and um, covering up her past. So what do you think of our mission? I don't care. I'm out to survive it, then cut loose. So is she actually going to stick with us? Like, I was always kind of iffy on why she actually decided to stick with us. What do you think of Miranda and Jacob? Jacob doesn't know who he is, but that's not my problem. Miranda's a Cerberus bitch. Knew that before she opened her mouth. It's funny that she she has, she has, she's like Miranda. She's had to learn to read people and their ambitions to stay alive. go. Yep. All right. We'll talk later, Jack. We'll talk later. You just, more than anything in the world, like, not more than, okay, I really want to help Jack. Like, I just, she is someone who's been through so much. You can tell just by looking at her that she's been through so much crap. And you want, I wanted, what I wanted when I first met her was to make sure she somehow ended up happy. I wanted her to be happy somehow. But not, like, with killing and murder and all this stuff. My dog's just got his head on my chair. Um, but somehow more at peace with herself, sort of. Less, I don't know, less crazed. I mean, she's crazy, and that's her thing, and that's fine. But, you know, I just, I always, it was just hard. Because sometimes I wanted to punch her in the face. Because it's like, why are you being so rude to me? But she has... No reason to be nice to me either, you know, if you want to look at it that way, you know what I mean? Grunt, there's a crazy downstairs. Shepard. Just checking in, making sure you're acclimatizing. The hold is too open, ah. not enough cover. Armor is limited. Warlord Grant would target here to scatter heavy cargo, then focus on engines. That's what tank imprints show about human ships anyway. Huh. It's how I learned from the tank. Old pictures where memory is. Okay. Like holding a book for a child. Just remember this picture after picture. No help with finding a reason to care. Interesting for, like... My dog has that look. He's my bark. Um, it's interesting that he is so eloquent and able, like, he came out basically, like, I don't know if he's, like, had time to think while he was in the tank, like, form his own thoughts, but the imprint, yeah, there he goes. Sorry, he's stuck in here for now while people are visiting, so I can't just let him out. Um, but no, it's interesting that the imprint, that they didn't take into consideration, like, explaining why these things, they just kind of, I don't know if they assumed he would just pick it up and be like, oh, yes, the, you know, the hunts of my ancestors or whatever, you know, but they didn't actually bother explaining any of this to him. What other human info is floating around in there? Floating around. Less than a finger deep to sever your spine. You're soft. Solarians, Sasari, all soft. Quarians, not so much. Really? Turians, you have to work the blade, I guess. Don't see much point to it, though. Huh. Much point. <laughs> Never mind. I shook my head. See, he doesn't like see a reason to fight any of them. Like he he sees pictures and images, and the 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 fact that pe that the other Krogan they hate, you know, such and such and such. But he's like, why? I wonder if the Quarians, if it's just their uh, Enviro suits. I didn't think they were that tough, but something must move you. You're as genetically Krogan as you can get. I see suffering, the dead, and I think weak. I'm supposed to be strong. My guts were grown from thousands of So he more knows worthy. how he was the made and why he weak. was made. If they were strong, I wouldn't be needed. I don't know why Okir started teaching. When he turned on the tank the first time, I screamed. Weak, pitiful. So you started small, but you became what you are. Not everyone gets that chance. I'm built for strength, but didn't earn it. Ah. I just am. 
Those dead were strong enough to try, even if they lost. The perfect Krogan, ignoring what made me. No strength in that. I'll take another look at what happened to the Krogan. Find a reason he just, to care about This is it. really interesting. He must have, like, a... Like, it's, it is. Like, he's reading a book. Like, he's just standing there. But he's, like, reading books and pictures and memories in his head. Like, he's got, like, a photogenic... No. Yeah. No. Photographic memory. Well, dang. Photogenic is what it looks like is when you're pretty and you take pictures. Is it photographic memory? Yeah. That, like, he, like... Or maybe it's just the way it was imprinted, like, he's never gonna forget it. He can, like, go back through these memories, like, nobody really can. Or, like, you know, like, most people can't. And, like, see what's thinking. Shepard. I don't know. Anything in your tank imprints that can make mm, use of... Might have something oh. I could put together. Did I... Didn't I do that? What? Uh... Oh, the Krogan shotgun. I was like, what the blazes? Sorry. So I should keep this crap around? <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't let it pile I, up. I totally I thought that you... Uh, I had made that already. My bad. What do you think about the crew? Good bunch if they stay Kay. out of my way. All right. Dead bunch. That's all for now. Shepard. He's... I feel like... The Krogans on my crew, like Rex, and you know, like he, his design was awesome, and Grunt's design, like a lot of detail was taken, I think, on them, and and it looks really good. It shows. Sorry, I'm just gonna get a second. Okay, while we're here on this screen, though, I'm going to upgrade, hopefully. Yes. Okay. 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 Oh, uh, God. I'm actually gonna look up really quick what, like, the differences between these two. Okay, sorry if you can still hear my dog. I looked up some stuff on a couple of different forums. I was seeing things pretty even, and then I got to one where everybody said heavy charge was better um, because it gives you a 100% um, uh, shield recharge. Um and the small time dilation, but I just no nobody's saying whether or not you are slowed down as well. And I was reading there's just one walkthrough that like is like legit like this huge really detailed walkthrough on just playing through as a vanguard on insanity and like bullet points on when to charge, when not to charge, what you do if you accident or if you charge when you're not when you shouldn't or something. That was pretty cool. Um, well, as this says most people say take the area of effect, but they, but then a lot of the, then the rest of the people posting is like most people say take area of effect, but I prefer the other one because of this and this. And then everyone else is like heavy charge is better. Heavy charge, heavy charge, heavy charge, heavy charge. If you're on normal difficulty, they say do whatever you want. But if you're on hardcore and insanity, use heavy charge, heavy charge, heavy charge. Provides 100% shield regeneration. Um, but I mean it makes sense because like yeah because. Most likely, I'm not going to... The, the, the walkthrough... Ooh, sorry, it's been a while. The walkthrough, the other walkthrough said, um, you know, never charge... Especially in the beginning of the game, you know, you're going to have a hard time. You know, don't do not do unnecessary charging. Um, wait, you know, till you can get into cover reliably or some, you know, basic common sense stuff, but I was still, like, I'm still just messing around with it, I guess, so... But I think I'll go with heavy charge. Your battle focus is so intense that not only does the charge flatten your enemies, your reaction speed is increased, slowing the world around you as you come out of the charge. Uh, okay. Yeah, and you get 100% maximum shield. Well, that, that in and of itself is a good reason to do it, because I already have 75% of maximum shields. So... Yeah, and the, I mean, the impact radius is bigger. I mean, meters isn't something, it's not like feet, you know? Like, meters are three, like, a meter is three feet, basically. So, it's like, two meters is like a person, you know? Like, a whole person laying down flat. So, it's like, yeah. It's, it's nothing to, you know, shake your tail feathers at. 
Uh, yeah, we'll go with heavy. We'll go with heavy. See how that goes. That's exciting. Okay, so I need to be careful and not just go crazy with it. You know, like I've been trying to kind of hold back on it, but now I do have better stuff. Yay me. Yay me! Okay. Um, so we talk to Jack and Grunt. I guess we'll go... We should probably go talk to the elusive man, right? That's what we were doing? Or that's what... You know. He's a pretty important dude that I should probably pay attention to. It's not that I... I don't hate the elusive man. I have great respect for him and I would never dream of underestimating him. And I'm not necessarily worried that he's going to take command away from me, because he is. He is trying, he is, like, making it very obvious that he's like, you know, look, you're in charge of this. Like, you're good, you know? Um. Here we go, we go, we go, we go, we go, we go, we go. Also, I think he gives me my next set of dossiers. This is pretty cool. Aren't you impressive? Shepard, I think we have them. Horizon, one of our colonies in the Terminus systems, just went silent. Horizon. If it isn't under attack, it soon will be. Has Morton delivered the countermeasure for the Seeker Swarm? Not yet. Not yet. Oh. Let's hope he works well under pressure. There's something else you should know. Oh, shoot. One of your former crew, <laughs> Captain, <laughs> on Horizon. Last I knew, Caden was Alliance. Why is he out in the Terminus systems? Officially, it's an outreach program to improve Alliance relation with the colonies. But they're up to something. And if they sent Commander Alenko... He's Commander be, now! I suggest you take it up with him. The Collectors just happened to pick a colony with one of my former crew. I don't buy it. It shouldn't be a surprise the Collectors are interested in you. Especially if they're working for the Reapers. They might be going after him to get to you. We should send a message no! to the Citadel. The Alliance can give us reinforcements. They won't. Not until you investigate. I don't want the Alliance getting And here's where he's kind of trying to... Once you to... the situation under control, I'll send the message personally. He does not want interference. Yeah, he, this, is, this is also his thing. It's not just me. It's... This is weird, because it's not like I'm a, a, a military, in the military command anymore. I don't have to take orders from him. This is like a civilian rig, but it's the same time it's sort of based on a military style, and he's technically the admiral, but like he's not in charge of Shepard at all, but he is the one holding a lot of the cards right now, and it, you know what I mean? Like it's, she wants to help the cause, but isn't sure exactly where things are. I'm not saying it very well. I don't know. I'm trying to think about it. Send much. the coordinates. We'll head straight there. Are we? This is the most warning we've ever had, Shepard. Whoops. Good luck. Whoopsie. Whoopsie poopsie. I think we are, Joker actually. Joker set a course for Horizon. I've got to go see the professor. Aye, aye, Commander. Whoopsie poopsie. I think we actually are. I haven't seen that in your office. How's it going? Tell me you have something. Hee <laughs> hee! Yes. Yes! And he's injecting some sort of, uh... I don't think it's a toxin of any sort, but he's, he's, he's putting it into all of our armor. Basically. Oh... I need more metagel, like, I thought that that refilled every time I went onto the ship, and I thought the heavy ammo did too. Okay, this is the, this is the colony that we're looking at in aerial view. Satellite view. Shoot, I didn't realize that it was gonna send us, like, I kinda had half an inkling, but I didn't really pay attention enough. I wasn't really thinking about it enough. Looks like Eden Prime. Lilith, <laughs> I've got a 
problem. Still can't calibrate the target Lilith. matrix? Those defense towers are useless if we don't figure it out. Sorry, Commander. Getting our comm systems back online takes priority. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Surprised people haven't tried to blame that one on me, too. People out here don't oh, trust me. Oh, come on, Caden. It's nothing personal. It really what isn't. Is that? <sighs> Caden knows. He's grow he's matured. He is he's always been mature, but he as a soldier now, he has had to grow. Get everyone to the safe house. And he knows his instincts are spot on. I'll cover you. Run. Hurry. Come on. You can't fire on them like like uh. tiny little things, like, you know? I think we would see evidence of this, like evidence of people panicking and running, like dropping their stuff and running. Ugh. Oh, that hurts my chest. And they're still conscious. Oh! Why couldn't they knock them out? Oh. There, a big massive turd in the middle of the field. Oh, no. Oh, Harbinger. Like, sometimes I, I have, I don't remember exactly what it's called, but I have this, this, like, thing sometimes when I sleep. Like, I, I wake up, but I can't move. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know, like, and, and the, the scariest thing is that, like, I'm still, like, my body's still in sleep mode. But, and so I'm, my breathing pattern is really slow and low and then I'm trying to wake up but I can't move my body I can't open my eyes I can't regulate my breathing so I'm just like like my eyes are closed and my eyes are flicking around you know inside my head and I feel like I'm suffocating and that's what I imagine that's like is like they've been paralyzed and they you know the you know the body's functions have gone to like a very very like all-time low you know but then yeah it's just they freaking, uh, like, I, that terrifies me when that happens to me in real life. Like, I can't even imagine freaking doing, like, having, like, being paralyzed and having bugs crawling all over your face and, like, being dragged off by these terrifying aliens. Dog. <laughs> He's driving me crazy. I can, like, barely hear him through my headphones, so that means you guys can hear him, too. We will bring... Jack and Grunt, and I promise we won't go through the battle with my dog whining. I'm really sorry. I'll I'll I'll, I'll end it after this one. Um, no, wait. Oh, who do I want? We'll probably be fighting a lot of armored guys, and for some reason, concussive shots no good against armor. Should we bring Morden? Let's bring Morden with his incinerate. I think that works against armor. I could be wrong. I hear you. I see you. I see you. You're fine. You're fine. There are people upstairs that he can't murder, and he's super upset about that. Yes, you are. You are so upset about that, you crazy. Oh, she's got shockwave and pull. Um... Oh, I could give her that one and then that one. Uh, I'm. I just. I feel like my pals had more abilities in Mass Effect One. Like they've got very limited abilities. 
in Mass Effect 2. They get, like, two to start out with, and a third one if you get their loyalty. Like, I don't know. Or... I probably should. I wouldn't mind giving her more in pull, because I don't, I don't think I put any points in pull yet, and so I was gonna think about getting hers up there, but as a biotic, I want to give her a lot of health and damage, weapon damage and stuff. Uh, what does she use? She uses the shotgun and a hand cannon. Okay, or a pistol. We have no, okay, I'm the big bad boop we do boop one in this scenario, so I'm the tank. We'll see. Yeah, Jack's supposed to have all these really crazy abilities and she just runs around shooting a gun the whole time, you know? Probably not the best idea to bring two people I don't really... Oh no, I don't have Grunt with me. <laughs> but, you know, technically I don't really... I don't know Jack at all. She could just try to kill me. But, we'll call it here really quick. Um, thank you guys. Well, hopefully after this we will freaking figure out what's going on on Horizon figure out why Caden was here, why the Alliance had a presence here, and finish this and go get a new set of dossiers. <laughs> anyway, thanks again. I'll see you in the next one.